guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be doing a dun, 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 Sephora haul. This haul has been accumulated over the past three weeks maybe, and I thought since I have a rather good collection of products that I picked up that I would share with you uh, some of the products I picked up. Some I have tried out, some products I haven't, mostly lip products that I have been in love with, and then some things are freebies that I got because of my birthday or whatnot. If you'd like to see what is in this makeup bag, then keep on watching. All right, let's see, I'm just gonna grab right in. Ah, so the first two things that I received, one I purchased last week and then another one I purchased today are these Luster Matte Long Wear Lip Colors. They are absolutely gorgeous. These are the two colors that I got. I mentioned these in my favorites. So if you haven't checked out that video, I'll leave the link down below. But these are absolutely gorgeous. I'm wearing uh, this particular shade on my lips right now. It is so, 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 so beautiful. They are super long wearing and um, they're very comfortable. You don't have to worry about it bleeding and you don't have to worry about them crumbling either. But I'm gonna show you a couple of swatches. This is the shade Mulberry. And here is a swatch right there. It's just one swatch. It's beautiful. It's a perfect fuchsia shade. I got this shade, which is the shade I'm wearing right now, but it is the shade Deep Plum. Oh, it's just super, super pretty. I love this shade. Perfect for fall. The next lip product that I purchased was on sale for $5, and this is the OCC Lip Tar, and this is a stained gloss. This is in the shade Jealous, and I swatched this at Sephora and absolutely loved it. I'm gonna show you a little bit of it. Like I said, I have not used it, so this will be my first time swatching it. It is just this really vibrant orange coral shade absolutely beautiful I love the sheen and it's gonna be just super pretty for summer of next year but seeing as they're typically like anywhere between 15 to 18 dollars maybe even 20 I'm not 100% sure but the fact that this was five dollars I couldn't pass that up so it'll definitely work for some of my Halloween tutorials and it'll especially work during the summer this was free this is one of your beauty insider rewards I think this one was like a 250 insider reward but Kathleen Knight, if you don't know who she is, I'll leave her link down below as well. She's amazing. She's one of my favorite YouTubers. But Kathleen Knight talked about this, and so I knew that I had to get it. But it comes with two different makeup products. Well, three technically. I mean, you get this little mirror, which as you can see here, it's just a little mirror. Hi! And then it says Bite on it. But it's by Bite Beauty, and there are two red shades. So you get a lip gloss and you get a lipstick. And this one is the Luminous Cream Lipstick in Mimosa. It's a beautiful red shade. There's a swatch right there. Just your typical red. And then the lip gloss, which I'm very, very excited about because I don't really have red lip glosses. This one is in the shade Mimosa as well. And this is the Lush Fruit Lip Gloss. Looks like that. See how pigmented this is. Oh, it's pretty pigmented. That's awesome. I'll have to try that out. Does it smell like fruit? Ooh. Ooh. That smells like grapefruit. That smells really good. Mmm, I love things that smell good. So I'm excited to try this out. I think it'll be beautiful, and especially for Christmas time. Oh, I did receive my birthday package. Now, I'm not going to open this one up because they were supposed to give me the VIB Rouge one, which comes with an eyeliner, but they didn't, so I have to take this back and trade it in. But I will show you the shades that they come with. You get two different NARS matte lip pencils. One is in the shade Ricougian. I don't know, but it looks like that. Show you what it looks. That's what the pencil looks like. It's just a pretty nude shade. And then the other one is in Corella, which is just a simple red. Once I get the actual birthday sample that I'm supposed to get as a Via B Rouge, I will show you swatches of those. But until then, I'm gonna keep it in the box. So this one is kind of frightening. And I saw it in Sephora today and I went, oh, you know what, let's go bold, let's go daring, and let's try it and see. Not sure if I'm gonna love it or not, but I thought it would be great for a makeup tutorial for fall. And what this is, is this is the Sephora Cream Lip Stain in Polished Purple. Woo, so that is the shade right there. I mean, as you can see, it's super purple. And that's the swatch right there. I mean, it's not my typical shade. I'm gonna be adventurous, and I think that paired with a simple eye look would be absolutely beautiful. So let me know in the comments down below. Do you think you would ever wear something like this, or do you think I'm absolutely crazy and trying to pull off this shade? 
I don't know. We'll see. We'll definitely see. Another item that I purchased was this Tarte double-ended liner. I absolutely love it. You get the angled side and then you get just your typical regular stiff um, precision side. I don't know what you call it, but um, this is a perfect, perfect liner brush, especially when you want to get that very sharp wing. I love this brush. It was $15, but if you think about it, it's about $7.5 each, and that's really cheap for makeup brushes, high quality brushes, so I would definitely get your hands on this if you are a beginner and are trying to figure out how to do that dang wing. <laughs> I purchased this Kat Von D Locket Tattoo Foundation, and the reason why I purchased this particular foundation, since I'm a mermaid at SeaWorld for Halloween, I'm out in the sun for an hour at a time, and with that, I sweat. I sweat like I'm in a sweatshop. It is so disgusting. And with the majority of my foundations, they tend to smudge and you'll start to see it start to melt off. So I wanted something that was going to stay put. And this definitely does stay put. This isn't recommended for dry skin, which is what I have. I kind of have like dry slash combo skin. I don't know how to explain my skin, but it's mostly dry. I have it in the shade Light 49, as you can see there. It's okay. It's not my favorite. One of the main things that I hate about this foundation is it's very difficult to blend. I mean, I have to spend so much time. You see brush strokes and then it's patchy. So there are parts where it's completely flawless and then you've got like one patch where you can see your regular skin. And this is supposed to be like porcelain flawless skin so when you have flawless skin here and then you've got this patch of just your regular skin and then it's just it's not my favorite I had really good high hopes for it and you can't blend out with the beauty blender oh when you try with the beauty blender oh it's terrible it's absolutely terrible so I'm not a fan of this if you know of any foundations that stay put that will not budge in the heat let me know in the comments down below because I'm in desperate need of a foundation that's gonna stay and this one for the price is not worth it to me I have one more item that I purchased and then two more items that I got for free. The next item that I purchased was the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Complete Coverage Serum Concealer. This is their brand new concealer and it is beautiful. So when the makeup artist applied the Locket Tattoo Foundation onto my skin, she used this concealer under my eyes. Oh, and I love it. It is super opaque. It comes with a flat-sided wand. I don't know if you can see that or not. It's very flat on both sides, which I actually really like, but it is super creamy, super, super pigmented. I have it in the shade medium, but this is so, so beautiful. You do have to set this, but other than that, it just stays put. It doesn't crease, which I really love. It stays hydrated the entire time, and I really, really love it. The last it. two items that I got were actually for free. The lady that was my makeup artist put in a free Sephora compact mirror. You can never go wrong with extra compact mirrors. And the other thing that I received was for my 500 point perk. And this is the Caviar Anti-Aging Shampoo and Conditioner. It's like a full set, as you can see. And what it comes with is a replenishing moisture shampoo, replenishing moisture conditioner, a lengthening hair and scalp elixir and a CC cream 10 in 1 hair perfecter. So I'm definitely going to try this out. I have really, really dry, coarse hair as you can see. I mean, this is just crazy, crazy hair. So I'm going to see if I like this. I have tried other Alterna products and I do love their brand. They are on the more expensive side, but I really, really love their products. So I want to try this out, especially the CC cream, CC cream for your hair. I don't know if a CC cream would work for your hair, but I'm gonna find out if it does, and I'll let you know if I like this or not. Alright everybody, that is it for my video. Thank you so much for watching. If there are any products that I mentioned that you want me to do a follow-up and an update as to whether I like the products or not, or if I ended up loving products that I hated, let me know in the comments down below, as I can definitely do a follow-up on some of the products that I haven't tried yet, whether I kept them, whether I took it back to Sephora, whether I loved them, or whether I was like, please stay away. Like, stay away from this makeup product. Let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't subscribed and until next time have a wonderful week and I'll see you in the next video take care